there are questions about magnetic resonance and ultrasound image reconstruction where better algorithms certainly are known to have made an impact. In fact, one of the, one of the famous examples of mathematics having a big impact in medical imaging is CAT scanners, which is a much older technology. But in the 70s, images got much better from a CAT scanner, not by having changed the CAT scan technology, but by changing the image reconstruction algorithms that were used afterwards. And that was a contribution by mathematicians who said, you know, don't reconstruct the images the way you were doing it, use the following mathematical approach, and the images instantly got better. And I think there's opportunities like that in other kinds of medical imaging. The problem with a lot of, let's call it industrial design in general, is that you don't have to solve one problem. You have to solve thousands and thousands of problems as part of a design process. What we're trying to do is say, solve the problem. You know, there's too much noise in the front passenger seat. Let me, what if I move the panel down a little bit? Run the simulation again. So when you're, when you're doing something that, that involves design, it's never a single problem that you have to solve. What you need to build for yourself is an environment where large numbers of simulation are possible so that a designer can come and test lots of different possibilities. And that's really what drives the need for faster and faster schemes.